I'm unboxing and I'm going to review the Novilla mattress topper. This is an inexpensive topper. It's one of the best price toppers I've ever seen. Like their mattress that I reviewed previously, it is probably even cheaper than most of the mattresses I see on Amazon. So the purpose of a mattress topper is usually to make a mattress that is too firm, a little bit softer. Very excellent price. And I also have a link in the description with a code to make it even less. You can use it on any surface, anything flat and firm, or even on the floor. You need to give the topper about 48 hours to fully expand before you sleep on it. It might have a slight odor when you open it, don't worry, that's normal because it's newly manufactured foam. And it has a one month full refund policy. You're used to seeing you know, three months, 100 days, and that's why you don't pay as much for it because you have a shorter window that you can return it in. Make sure to give your body a few days to adjust from sleeping on something less than optimal. Once you try your Novilla, you're never gonna want to be without it so they have a lot of confidence in their brand that's something i don't see a lot with a budget brand like this so i i think they have a little sass step one open your magic box <laughs> and take out your novella mattress topper after placing it in the room use the opener blade to release your mattress topper then you leave it to unfold at least 48 hours and three years warranty it does not cover wear, tear, and stains. That's why you need a mattress protector because you wanna protect your mattress and your mattress topper with a mattress protector over both. Like the mattress strap and it's adjustable so you can tighten it. So depending on how thick your mattress is, but there's a strap in each corner. So again, for a budget mattress topper, that's a detail that I just wouldn't expect. Keep the mattress topper from sliding around. I feel like it fits fairly well. Another thing people do to cut corners is they have a really cheap zipper and it gets stuck easily. And it's just really thin and not very good quality. Again, I'm impressed that it's that good. And it has a fire sock underneath. I didn't notice it till now. It does have the off-gassing smell. So if that bothers you, air it out first. I just wanna show you what it looks like when I'm sitting on it. I have the Novilla pillow that matches the Novilla topper. I'm gonna kind of line up right on that edge and you can see. That's very comfortable. Now let me get on my side. I'm a side sleeper, so this is the most comfortable position for me. The heavier you are, the more you're gonna sink in and the more thickness you'll need. The lighter you are, the less firm it will feel. And now, stomach. I'm ditching the pillow for that one. But I feel like this is soft, but not too soft. Like you're gonna sink in and not be able to move around. So I think it's a good in the middle selection. Backing. So these are non-slip uh, non dots. Let's look at the layers. Usually in a topper, I expect this to be all the same. So I expect it's an egg crate kind of design, a foam on the top. Put my hand. Okay, it's definitely got that memory foam. See how my fingers just leave that indention for a minute. And then let's look at this layer. So this is just the top one inch. And then you have this two inches. That's classic memory foam. It's not quite as squishy as this one. Look how that just stays in. And then that one kind of bounces back out. I like a thicker mattress topper when I'm trying to add softness because I feel like anything that's not at least three inches thick doesn't add enough thickness to make much of a difference. And so um, I, I think it's worth it to pay for a thicker one. The cover is exactly the same cover as on their mattress. And I have seen a lot of very cheaply made thin covers. It's actually pretty nice, pretty thick fabric, it has this fire sock. Um, some of these cheaper mattress toppers, they won't have a cover at all. They might have something like this, but not, not even that. Sometimes you just get the foam and it's really hard to protect that foam and keep it nice. So I'm just sitting here raving about this mattress topper because I've actually reviewed ones that I think are just as good that cost a lot more than this. Um, the foam might not be as good a quality. You don't get as long of a, of a return window. But overall, I think that this is a great value. It's a four inch thick and this is a medium soft. It's actually pretty soft to me. 
What do you use a mattress topper for? Besides for a mattress that's too firm for you, you can also use it in your RV. It's less expensive than buying a mattress. A lot of you will get an RV comes with a mattress that is just terrible. So you might want to soften it up and make it more comfortable with a topper. Um, it can be used on the floor for kids. You know, you can get an air bed, but those can get holes in them and they may not be as comfortable because they shift around the air when you move. So this is another thing you can use. Maybe you have a college student who has a dorm room mattress and those can be pretty crappy 